Sir, you quite misunderstand the situation. Now, I know the Dolphin doesn't have the cachet of the Plaza or the Carlisle, but we operate at 90% capacity, always. And my concern here is not for the hotel. My concern here is not for you. Frankly, selfishly, I don't want you to check into 1408 because I don't want to clean up the mess. Now, hotels are all about presentation and fertile creature comforts. My training is as a manager, not a coroner. Under my watch, there have been four deaths. Four. After the last one, I forbade any guests from checking into 1408 ever again. The last one was David Hyde, orthodontist, manic depressive, slit his wrist, did a little self-surgery, turned himself into a eunuch, right? Yes. So you've done your homework. I'm a professional, too. Well, grievously, in its 95-year existence, the hotel has seen seven jumpers, four overdoses, five hangings, three, three mutilations. mutilations. Two stranglings. General Manager Gerald Olin is well-versed in the hotel's tragic history, dryly reciting the docket of carnage like a bookkeeper discussing his ledger. Well, you think you're clever, don't you? I know the game. Well, during your investigation, did you discover the 22 natural deaths that have occurred in 1408? Natural deaths? Ah. Didn't find out about them because the newspapers don't print anything about them. Hm. All told, there have been 56 deaths in 1408. 56? You're shitting me. You don't know anything. The causes of death in 1408 range from heart attack, stroke, drowning. Drowning? Yes, one Mr. Grady Miller drowned in his chicken soup. That's hard to do. How, how did he do that? How, indeed. Interesting. And it's all in here. I will let you have this and give you access to my office. You can take notes, put it all in your book. My only condition is that you do not stay in that room. 